Ah, here we are. Back at the cemetery to look for the green woodpecker. Excuse the noise, this um, entrance gate is right on the road, so I hope you can hear me okay. So let's go and have a look for the green woodpecker. Well, as you can see, quite a biggish cemetery. So, um, hopefully plenty for us to have a look at. Well, I can hear plenty of birds, whether our bird that we're looking for is in amongst them. Let's go and find out. Well, there's certainly plenty of trees in this place for our, our bird anyway. And even a windmill. Where's our bird? Come on, where are you? Let's have a look. Where are you? Well, that's a name to conjure with, isn't it? Francis Sky, you sticky scoball. Oh, hey, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Obviously a person of reasonable wealth, I would think, to have a, um, a monument like this. Excuse that eBay thing going off. Yeah, look at that. It's obviously a person of reasonable finances, I suppose, or the family was. Francis Sky, you sticky scoball, 1890. Well, there you go. Here's another one with um, aspirations of grandeur, I suppose you would say, with the raw time work. James H. Rodder. I wonder if there's anything to do with the ice cream people. We have ice cream people here in Cornwall called Rodders. They do ice cream and dairy stuff. I wonder if they're, or this guy's related to them. Could well be. My word, that's a bit of wealth for you, isn't it? Look at that. I don't know whether you can see that. That's a bit of wealth for you. Right, go on the other side. See if I can get it without the light in it. Excuse me a second. Let's get the light behind us. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit of wealth for you, isn't it? To have something like that. I don't know how old that is. Let's have a look. Elizabeth, Mary Elizabeth Hoskin. Died 1960, so it's not that long ago. My word. Aged 95 years. Yeah. Amazing what people have erected when they died. My word, look at the work involved in that. Look. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Fantastic. Beautiful work. Look at the detail in this, look. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? I wonder how old that is. 1909. Well, it's done well to survive that long with all the acid in the air and all the rubbish in the air. Marvellous. Marvellous. Look at that. Look at that, wonderful. Where's our bird to? Let's have a look for our bird. Ah, couldn't help but notice this. John Class Trotter. I wonder if Mr. Trotter was an independent trader. 
What year was that? What year did he die? Oh, 1919. Uh, maybe he wasn't, I don't know. Independent trading company. Uh, well, I've not seen our woodpecker yet, but there's a squirrel's tray. And I've just seen what I presume to be the owner dash in the middle of this tree, so I don't know whether he's here anywhere or not. Yeah, one squirrel's dray. I want to get you a Lewis Auxiliary Air Force, 5th of July 1942, age 19. What a terribly young age to die. Nineteen. How very sad. Actually there's quite a few of these military headstones here. There's one right to my right. Let's just nip around here a second. I'm going to have a look at that one. Another one. H.A. Payne, the West Yorkshire Regiment, 30th September 1942, age 29. 317030 Sergeant. H.A. Payne. How terribly sad. Terribly sad. Yeah, see, here's another one. Private A.L. Walters, Royal Army Service Corps, 24th of December, 1943, Christmas Eve of all things, age 32. God, whiz. I'm amazed actually how many there are in this cemetery, these markers. Quite a lot, I, I, I can see them dotted all around here. Yeah, killed on Christmas Eve. Sad. Well, I suppose I better be careful here with all these bamboos here. There could be a lot of Japanese snipers in there. <laughs> Don't know the war's over. <laughs> Look at that. Look. That's the head of a tree, isn't it? A monkey puzzle right in the distance. It's a head of a thing, isn't it? Still can't find our bird. It could be a case, I suppose, that he was one of these birds that was just sort of passing through. I don't know. I don't know. It's a pity I was hoping to see that again. Anyway, keep trying. My God, that must be one of the biggest eucalyptus trees I've seen in ages. Look at that. Amazing. Wouldn't think they'd grow in this country, but obviously they do. Quite happy they're growing. Amazing. Come on, where's our bird to? Come on. Look at that monkey puzzle tree. Look at that. I'll say one thing for this cemetery, there's certainly a good variety of trees here. I mean, there you've got a monkey puzzle tree. There you've got a eucalyptus tree. In between that you've got a pine tree. Holly bush just there with berries on it, or what looks like a holly bush. I mean, it's, it's incredible what's here. Incredible. But no green woodpecker. Look at that one. Look at that tree. I'm not sure the tree that is. A reasonable sized cones on it. Let's go and have a look in a minute. Yeah, look at that. It's certainly a bit big to have indoors for Christmas. I wonder what sort of... conifer 
that is. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, I think what I'm going to do is give this up as a lost cause. I don't think we're going to spot him today. Now I'm going to go and get something warm to eat because I'm getting, as you can see, the wind's blowing and it's not the nicest of days for coming around a cemetery and it's getting rather cold. Somebody gets something warm to eat before my appointment. I think we're going to have to give this bird up as a last course. It could have been one of these birds that's just passing through. Um, shame, I would have hoped to have seen it today. I've seen an assortment of small birds and a lot of magpies and stuff here, but just no green woodpecker. The elusive green woodpecker.